Hello everyone, today we will make a simple ball bounce animation in After Effects. Alright, so you can see that uh, there is a slow in and slow out. So the ball is showing the feeling of weight because of the movement where it is slow in air and it becomes fast as it hits the ground. Then there's also a cushion stretch, there is motion blur and there are sound effects. Okay, so we're going to look at how to create an animation like this. Okay, so to show cushion stretch, slow in, slow out and add some sound effects. So I will close After Effects and open it up. All right, so this is After Effects. You can see there's a timeline, there's a new composition. So I'll click on the new composition. And we are, we are using 1280 by 720, 24 frame rate and five seconds. So you can see hours, minutes, seconds and frames. There's a background color. You can, we can try a white background this time. Okay, so you can see there's a composition there's a layer and you can see there are frames here uh, it will say 12 frames and then one second all right so just before one second it will say 23 frames and if you zoom in there you can see that all the frames so 20 21 22 23 and then one second all right so there are five seconds and the five sec each second is divided in 24 frames so 24th frame becomes one second there is zoom in and zoom out for the composition. So you can see here, you can type in the zoom values or you can simply scroll the mouse button. Here is the resolution. So we can keep it full. It is just to make the work slow or fast. Okay. Uh, even if it is quarter, the quality may not be nice here, but when you render, you will get good quality. So it is just for preview purpose all right so now we are going to create a ellipse and if you go to composition you can create a new composition here like we created before or you can go and go to composition settings and look at our settings again if you want to make any changes okay so maybe we can make it a little less white all right and then we will use the ellipse tool hit the shift key and drag to create an ellipse it is some bluish i'll try a bluish color here okay so a blue color ball you will see that there is no stroke and it has a fill color Okay, the other important thing is the anchor point. You can see that the anchor point is below. This anchor point is where the ball is going to transform. So, or the circle is going to transform. Uh, if you move it, scale it or rotate it. So, if I hit the R key here, you can see it is rotating along the anchor point. Okay, so if I click on this button here, or the Y button on the keyboard, you can decide where the anchor point goes. Okay, so I updated the anchor point and now if you hit the rotate key, it's going to rotate from the anchor point. Okay, so here you will see the, the shape layer is created. It is visible for all the five seconds. And it has transform tools, which is anchor point, position, scale, rotation, opacity. Now, this is too much information. So, we can just open part of it. So, P is for position, S is for scale, R is for rotate, T is for opacity, and A is for anchor point. Alright. 
so we want to move the position it's going to move up and down and we only want to animate the y value so you can separate the dimension so you get x position and y position so we'll create a keyframe for the y position so the ball is in the air and we'll create one second animation so after 12 frames we'll create a keyframe the ball hits the ground and at one second we'll create another keyframe so the ball stays in the same place so if you go to the frame number 12 and you will have to move it down so you can use the shift and the down arrow key so it moves faster down okay so now at frame number 0 the ball is up in the air at frame number 12 it comes down and then it goes up okay so this is the area or uh, that can be previewed so I make it small and before I do it I can just hit the space bar so you can see that the ball bound moves up and down once and then it stops so what we can do is we can simply drag this here and now the ball will keep bouncing it is not bouncing it's moving up and down so what we want is the illusion of weight so the ball should just hit the ground hard so I'll select this key shift select this key right click and say keyframe assistant easy ease all right so what it will do is it will slightly make these keys closer on top and farther away at bottom okay so these are the default settings so there's no easy ease here but there are easy ease so the ball will show some feeling of weight so we need to exaggerate that further or enhance it so I'll click on the graph editor and then you can see that the ball is slow so you have to understand how this to read this graph when the ball is in the air and slowly it is going down and then it picks up speed it picks up speed going up and then slows down again okay so I'll click on this button so it zooms in the keys what we need to do is we need to exaggerate it further so I'll click this keyframe here and click on easy ease keys on top also now what we can do is we get these handles we can manually move it down and you can see that the keys are closer on top and further away at the bottom okay so if you now play the animation okay it has this effect of the bounce the ball has more weight okay so we'll close that one you can see that at frame number 12 now we need to add the ball bounce okay I think there is some rotation in the game which I did, did not zero out all right so now P is for position we got the Y position now we'll hit the shift and S key so now we add the scale factor and I'm going to unlink the scale add a key go to zero add a key and go to the end and add a key okay so now there are keyframes but we have not changed anything just added keyframes so here we will squish the ball say 130 now the ball has become bigger than before so we need to squish it we stretched it we'll squish it by 70 okay so the volume of the ball remains the same so the ball is round and then it starts squishing which we don't want one frame before it should stretch okay so here we will make it 70 and this will become 130 okay so we'll just reverse it here it was 130 70 here it becomes 70 130 and one frame after also same thing 70 and 130 so now the ball is round and because of the weight it's going to stretch then squish stretch and become normal okay so you get that ball bounce now we will turn the motion key on and this motion key on 
and now you can see that the wall is bouncing okay now if you hit the u key on the keyboard it will bring up all the properties which has keyframes all right now what we need is i will use the alt key and click here and we will add an expression so the ball bounce will repeat itself so we are going to say l o o p loop capital o u t out so it's going to loop out bracket start semicolon and we'll say cycle semicolon and the bracket okay so if you play this and we'll zoom out and then we'll zoom this out okay so you can see that the key is repeating for squish and stretch we need to do the same thing for the transform so we'll simply copy this and paste it on top so now the ball is moving up and down so we will just repeat the keys using an expression loop out all right so now the ball is repeating we just need the sound effects so what i did uh, is i went to google chrome and i tried boing sound effect and i got this youtube video which i downloaded so you can find a way to download what I do is I look for YouTube video downloader and I use save from .net to download it. Okay, so you just have to click on there and put in the link and download it. So once the video is downloaded, right click here in this area where it's comp1 this the comp one is the composition that we were working on we'll import the file the boing video okay so the video comes in here and we will drag the video down okay we need the u key so now if you see that the boing video is there we don't want the video so we'll hide the video we just want the sound Okay, so we'll click on audio waveform so you can see that need more space all right so we need the boing when the ball hits the ground so somewhere here the boing should happen and then we will get rid of this part and we'll also get rid of this part so the ball will simply make boing sound here okay and then we will what we will do is we will kill the sound here so i'll add a sound keyframe here and just a few frames before i'll add another keyframe and then we will dim the sound a little okay okay so now we need to copy this sound many times so we need to find where the sound starts so you can see that just one frame before when the ball is stretched the sound file will start so we'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it many times say five times then we'll go and find that one key where it is stretched okay here we'll drag this then we will find another okay, here We'll drag it now you can also see that just one frame before is where that is happening so visually you can map it now if you hit number, okay so we have copied the sound motion blur is there squish and stretch is there slow in and slow out is there last step is to make a video so go to file export add to render queue now we have three options best settings lose less and comp1.avi so output 2 is where you want to save the video so i will just say ball 
pound 2 because I already have 1. Lose less, I will use a format of QuickTime video. There is a audio output, there is a video output and we have to decide which compressor to use. I am using MPEG-4 compressor, there are many options. If you don't have MPEG-4, you will have to choose some other compressor. But don't use the animation default compressor because it will create a big file size. Okay, MPEG-4 will create a small file size and the quality will be good. So this compressor will decide the quality and the file size. So MPEG-4 compressor, QuickTime movie with audio. Best settings don't need to be changed, but here will be the quality, resolution, and if you want to start and stop at a specific frame, then you can specify that here. But we are rendering the whole thing. So everything looks good. Ball bounce to dot movie compressor. We will hit the render button and it will render the video. And then if you go to the folder where you saved it, I call it ball bounce to. I'll open with quick time view half size and play it. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and